Hello, Internet. I would have a snappy comeback, but unfortunately, the sickness has taken me. The black lung! <coughs> See, I only have the energy to come up with a witty introduction. Instead, I'll simply put on my glasses and put on a brave face for you all. And, as yeah, bonus, I'll pop in some halls. That should get me the viewers! And it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Okay. So, I think I got this figured out. The lighting's all been coalesced. Coalesced? Is that even a word to use when you're talking about lighting? That's how kind of fried my brain is right now. And I'm beginning to feel the sicknesses take hold on me. Uh, the nose is starting to snaj up. Snaj up? Is that even a verb? I just invented a new verb. Snaj up. Let me make sense. Probably means something in German that's terribly offensive, but, you know. Whatever. I'm... That's how I roll. I'm offensive, baby. What, what? I'm pushing the boundaries. Breaking out of my box. Living in a cardboard box. Google that. YouTube that song. Living in a cardboard box. That's some serious lyrical linguistics going on there. You notice I had to think about that for a second? Lyrical linguistics. It's a new one. Anyway, I had a, <coughs> I had this exciting plan to talk about all these videos and things I was going to talk about, embarrassing things and successes that I had, because I saw on the Facebooks, uh, there was a, somebody, uh, Tony, if you're out there and you're watching this, hello, Tony, uh, someone commented in your stream, or your comment thread stream thing, my bobber, and they were like, no, I don't want to go hang out with people who are just going to try and impress me and try to be awesome and, you know, blah, 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 and my response was, really? I mean, I think, you hear the halls rattling around, this is f fantastic vlog making by the way this is going to get me viewers by the millions the milkshake brings all the eyes to the yard does that even make sense i can't even do a standard oh this is terrible but i'm staying on point i'm staying on target anyway to the point of the matter she was talking about how oh, that was the it that was her problem and she didn't want to go and i was thinking my, my mind i'm just like well yes but no i just feel like a gigantic goober dripping down my nose and i don't want to touch my nose and gross you out and be like ah and you're just going to be like, close, 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 get the girls man away. So I'm going to resist the urge to, to, <laughs> to molest my nose. Must stop, must stop, must stop. Okay, focusing now on you, the viewer, on the YouTubes, Facebooks, wherever you are in this world. Uh, anyway, so the point is this, is that, yeah, well, there's, there's a little bit of us. Uh, uh, okay, some part of us. A larger part than we care to admit, probably. That we do want to show up and be awesome and, like, have Angelina Jolie on one arm and have George Clooney on the other. You know, we all want that dream. And I would love to be in a situation where I had Jessica Biel on one side and Natalie Portman on the other and a car driven by Jennifer Aniston. Not Jennifer Aniston. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Natalie Portman, Jessica Biel. Julia Stiles. Bingo, bongo. But unfortunately, that's not going to be my life. Uh, I work in middle management at a hospital. I live a fairly unthrilling life. And so my ability to impress anybody is bingo. Yeah, we're all not going to have that. And unfortunately, whether we like to admit it or not, uh, we're just going to have to go into this whole reunion business and accept the fact that probably none of us are as impressive as we thought we were going to be 10 years ago. Uh, a lot of you have actually gone around the world. Uh, Desiree, one of my best friends, has traveled to Africa and everywhere. And everywhere. Oh my gosh, she's done all these great things. Um, and that's fantastic. Um, on my hand, I've gone to the Philippines for a year and a half, and then I came back, and I never really left this place called home. Does that make it any less impressive or any less awesome than what I've done? Not particularly, because you know what? Gosh dang it. Diggity dang dong bong. I don't know where I'm going with that. But the point is this, is that whatever you've done, whatever you've managed to pull together in your life in the last 10 years, you've done something. And gosh dang it, that's impressive enough as it is. I mean, you didn't, you know, disappear off the map and become a contract killer and show up 10 years later with an assignment to kill somebody's dad. Gross point blank. Awesome movie. You know, so anyway, come on down. Hang out with us all. We're all going to be a bunch of dorks together who really 
you know, some of us haven't seen each other for a long time. Others of us have kept up on Facebook. But it'll still be entertaining uh, to see how we all have managed to kind of go from being these awkward, gangly, sort of cool but sometimes not cool high schoolers to these grown-up adults who now have to deal with adult stuff. And some of us have babies and some of us have um, other things. And it's going to be fantastic. So if you don't show up, you're a punk. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what cool insult to say, but you're a punk if you don't show up. Because at least you can say you did it. You did your ten-year reunion. You grew a pair and you managed to pull it off. You're a man or a woman, maybe of the modern age. You've done that one thing that you are supposed to do because it's up in the Constitution or something. I don't know. I'm babbling now because it all it's all foggy up here with the with the sickness. So. On that delightful cavalcade of whatever this is, peace out, word to your mother, and we'll probably see you tomorrow, depending on if I get the motivation and my time. I'm pretty sure you will see me tomorrow, and I'll have I'll have excitement, and hopefully I won't be a snot-nosed running monster of doom. Until tomorrow, little Tim Lions for life. Peace out, baby. Word to your mother. I don't even like. I don't know how to end this video. Like, there's got to be a cool catchphrase. That I can claim that sounds smooth and debonair and suave and yeah, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Uh, if you have any suggestions for a cool catchphrase, there's a comment section below. Help a brother out. Why does kid you know? Ding ding. That's some that's some serious sound making. Sound making? Is it even? That's some serious. Let's try this again. On that. <coughs> Again. <laughs> Why do I keep saying bingo bongos? Bingo bongo is part of the American culture language. Is that even? I don't even know where that's coming from, but it came from somewhere because it's in here. And I feed it out to the world, and there it is. And it's just like all the viewers, all the eyes on this video right now. I can't put my finger on my nose. Uh, so. Baby, in this one horse town, I just sit here watching.